And so you've been painting about 13 years. Yeah, 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 I'd say about 13 years. And uh, but coincidentally, uh, speaking of my m being drawn as statues, I, I sculpted. I think that was really my first medium of art was sculpting. Thank you. Uh, how old are you? I'm 30. I just turned 30. Well, not that long ago. Not just like yesterday, but yeah. <laughs> I'm 30. Did, did you grow up around here? No, actually, we moved around a lot as children. I never really stayed in one place too long. Um, I was born in Chicago, and um, my mother and my father, they brought us to California because they couldn't stay on the Midwest snow <laughs> in the winter. Couldn't blame them, thank them for that. And, um, but we moved, I moved around a lot. I um, lived in Atlanta, um, lived in Florida, just back and forth. I, my, uh, and then uh, I, I always knew though, I always, since I was a little, a little girl, I would even say three, I always knew I was gonna live in Paris. It was just one of the, my ultimate, you know, it didn't matter we, if we were homeless or, you know, living in a motel in the middle of the worst neighborhood. I just always knew I was going to live in Paris one day. So I was really happy to make that happen. Is that where you went to college? No, no. Um, I, um, I was intending to stay there and complete the course, but um, once the murder happened, I was so traumatized that I really just needed to scamper back home where I felt I had a stronger support system at least or an emotional network of people because Paris is so isolated and uh, it's so volatile, the lifestyle there. Um, there's so much I love and admire about it, but I needed to be here. And so I, I came back and I knew a lot of the things I wanted to do in life that it would just take so much longer to accomplish in Paris. It's a very slow system in Europe. And the capitalists, I guess, in me just said, <laughs> I'm tired of waiting in line. <laughs> so I, I came back, yes. Um, my background, though, as uh, a Bachelor of Science, this is my, actually, I'm in my uh, final stretch of that right now. Um, and it's an uh, interdisciplinary Bachelor of Science in research psychology or psychology, at, like, c computer engineering and psychology. But it's going to be research psychology. I have anything to say. Okay. <laughs> and, and you got the gallery. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm, in Tustin. So um, I was very uh, blessed to have that. Um, I think it was the smartest thing I ever did was to not to think of my art not just in terms of aesthetic beauty but in terms of of having a, a, a house and in terms of thinking of the future and thinking of, of business and I think it's very challenging for a lot of artists to um, to be business people mm -hmm. and so I, I feel I've been blessed and fortunate to also have that type of business mind and but even more blessed to have people who believe in what I do <laughs> to uh, afford me the privilege to have a gallery. Yeah, have you gotten a lot of commissions for doing things like the Morrison and uh, Oscar Wilde and some of those? You know, um, I've had a lot of uh, interest, the, the commissions, I don't do as many commissions as I think I used to, um, primarily because um, I, I think it's, it's um, it's it's almost like having someone over your shoulder or looking and I just I will always have the person in my mind and that's probably why I tend to procrastinate and put them towards the end of, end of the series because I have to it's hard enough for me to get out of my own way to create and then I have to think when I'm doing something are they gonna like this color are they gonna you know I just it's that, that little nagging voice, I guess, maybe from childhood or something that's just like, wait, is this going to be good enough? And sure, I mean, I've never had a commission that someone's just, you know, not, not like, but I do, I, I like to just do my own expression and my own voice and not worry because I, I even worry myself. I'm like, I'll be painting and this, this, this background looks so, and I just have to talk myself out of my head and just focus on the subject and attack what I've been, you know, what, what I feel like, at that easel to achieve.